More than 90% of kids across the country play video games. So odds are one of your children or their friends have played a video game once or twice, right? Well, normally games making headlines for its negative effects on kids, but tonight a different side of the story. Experts now saying video games could help create the doctors of the future. Video games and mainstream medicine, two big industries rarely mentioned in the same sentence. But just like video games with robotics, you actually have no feeling about what's going on and the patient's totally disconnected from you. Dr. Zane Basrawella, a local urologist, performs surgeries with machines that use interfaces similar to those in video games. There are four robotic arms. Machines like the Da Vinci surgical system use joysticks and buttons to complete laparoscopic procedures in the abdomen or pelvis. Like traditional video games, the device requires on-point hand-eye coordination. I wouldn't be surprised that if, if I got on this robot machine with my 10-year-old son and we did a task together, that he would be able to keep up with me, simply because it's made for your hand-eye coordination. Leading doctors and even some medical school educators believe that today's video game generation will have an edge when it comes to training for these evolving robotic assisted surgeries. So how have video games helped? I think the transition may indeed be easier for those people who have had a long run of video game experience. In fact, one study found that better video gaming skills resulted in fewer laparoscopic surgery errors and faster procedures. Surgeons where you used to have to contort your body in certain directions and use your hands and so forth, now the robotic actually does a lot of the uh, heavy lifting, so to speak. Video games are already being used to train surgeons at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Doctors training with the video game have been shown to outperform their peers. Dr. Basra Wells says while video games can't replace years of training, they appear to be a permanent part of a new healthcare landscape. My mentors who are great and really brought me along within our group, they're not video game players. That's where the value of you know, the technology is bridging the gap. Robotic assisted surgery allows doctors to perform complex surgeries with more precision than the human hand. So if you want your child to grow up to be a surgeon, mm. you may not have to worry as much as their time spent playing video games. But my brother studying urology and his professor kind of mentioned this. Mm -hmm. And so the more I read about it, the more fascinated I was with this idea. So parents, you might not have to worry so much if your kids love playing and video games. And the ongoing games. joke is that your brother played video games a lot when he was a kid, he right? He played a lot. My mom was so worried. So hey, it worked out for him. Yeah. All right. Well, there's news. <laughs>